Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Falcon and welcome to the Wild Star Spotlight. Uh, we will be taking a look at the add-on Potato UI today and we will be discussing the ins and outs of how it works. Uh, is, it, uh, is it a good mod? Is it, uh, or add-on, excuse me, uh, is it worth your time? Um, maybe some potential, you know, hey, this could be improved, yada, yada, yada. Hopefully, if you have any questions about it, this video will help you with it. Or if you're wondering if it's worth picking up and just don't want to take the time to do it, maybe we'll figure out if it is any good. Now then, the very first thing you should know is uh, basically how to pull it up if you turned it off by accident, which is slash PUI. That makes it go away, and slash PUI again, and it reappears right here at the top of your screen, if you have it there. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Pretty simple, reload UI, always a good little button to have laying around. Uh, your basic editing, uh, resetting, and copy settings. You can copy from any of your other characters, um, from any server, probably, I'm sure. But we don't want to do that. If we did that, it wouldn't be any fun. Now, this add-on includes a sprint meter along with a resource frame. Pretty, pretty easy. You also have all your focus stuff up here, which is a very awkward place for it. Uh, let's, let's just toss some of this other stuff out of the way um, because I like to, well, I like to be able to figure out how to move things. Maybe, no. Okay, you just just go away. We'll, we'll leave you where you are. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, all this. So basically, once you click the edit button, I gotta place that thing. Place it over my thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn that over the UI as well. Uh, basically, once you press the edit button, you are able to edit anything, and at any point you can close it. Very very nice interfacing, facing facing. Uh, done by that. Really, I have so many add-ons that I've been testing. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, so we are with our 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 wonderful Chua friend here called Subscribe Now. Hey -o. Uh And he he is our assistant, and he is looking rather chipper today. So let's go ahead and let's just let's just move things around a bit. You can see kind of you know how it goes. Um, you can stick your buffs anywhere you want, but for for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna keep it the way that they have it on default. I just like my unit frames a little bit higher, mainly if you're trying to do this. Now I have a thing that it puts them on the side, I believe, but you know, hello, hello person, how 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 are you? Good, you're a foxy lady. Uh, have a good day. Have a, have a seat, yes, that's good. So anyway, you can set this up however you want. Um, I'm not really gonna get into my setup, but just just demonstrating, you know, you what you may or may not want. Um, you know, I like to throw my, you know, my who are they targeting frame, you know, kind of, kind of right there. I usually don't pay attention to the buffs, so I'll just chunk the buffs out of the way. I do like the debuffs, especially if I'm tanking, or um, maybe if you have a, um, a heal or something, you might want to just have a little bit extra way of checking things out. Uh, we'll move this here just for just for just for right now, um, and that's that's good. We'll we'll leave that because let's let's face it, there's no point in getting into all this other stuff. This is a pretty easy to use. Uh, interface and I think that it is extremely good. Here's the resource frame. Uh, again, you can move it anywhere you want. Uh, you know, stick it right in your face if you want to. Subscribe now will not complain. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the um, the options that we have to play with and maybe trying to figure some stuff out. So I personally like to always show flame flames always show frames but I like to completely just disable portraits uh, I don't I don't like portraits um, as you can see we have some more options coming later but for right now you can just turn these two off 
you have the position, you have the size, um, you can either change it here or you can uh, grab and drag very, what you're probably used to. Um, and that is just the frame options. Uh, you can either turn the icons off, um, you know, if you don't, you probably don't need to know what level you are. Um, I'm sure you know how to hit the C button if you really, I think it's C. Mine's C. I, I really don't know my keys, but um, I'm sure you can figure out what level you are. So let's go ahead and take a look at the HP bar. And this is the big green one right here. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have no shields, so that's not showing above it, but if I did, well, it would show. Can I? Nope, I can't even turn to look at anyone. That is quite fine. Uh, we have a lot of various things. You can change which way your health fills up, so either left to right or right to left. Uh, you can, in fact, change the type of bar it is. So maybe, maybe you like a little, did I pass it up? A little charcoal, a little nice soft action in the middle, a little, a little darkness. It's very nice looking. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a few more of these added. Um, there, there's several things, and obviously these these add-ons are you know in development. I mean, they're getting constant updates and stuff. So yeah, this is stuff we'll probably see in the future. Uh, but you know, just in case, you know, just just saying, I would I would like a little bit more, not a lot, just a little. Uh, and then we meet, then we meet, then we jump into the uh, meat of the the system here. Well, not this part, but uh. This part down here. Uh, you can also change your thing if you would like to use uh, your HP bars uh, for yourself. You can either change it to a custom color. Um, and if we click it, we can see. Oh, hey, we got custom colors. Uh, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe I'm into. Maybe, uh, maybe I like orange. That's a little nasty looking. Uh, there we go. It's a nice, it's a nice dark orange. Uh, you know, we'll go with that. There we go. So we made it orange because we love the color orange. I actually am not that huge of the color. Huge fan of it, but you know, maybe you are. You can also change the opacity of it if you want. Uh, throw a little bit of a little bit of opacity in. Um, is that the right word? I may not be the right word. I might be drunk. It's okay. I'm not. Uh. But anyway, you can make it where it's a little bit see-through. Uh, you know, maybe to make it a little bit easier on your eyes when looking at the background, whatever. Uh, so let's jump into this part right here. Uh, you have your character's name. You can, uh, here's the options. You have none. You have your character's name. You have detailed. Uh, probably, probably, I don't know, maybe you, you probably don't need your character's name even. Really? I mean, eh. I'm used to having it, but maybe you don't need it. Uh, you got your font choices. Uh, standard, you can choose to bold, bolder, uh, or italicize, um, or add italics, whatever, however you say that. And you choose to outline. Uh, I actually prefer to use the wired, wild star font and eh, make it a little bit bigger. I like my name. It's a great name. Uh, for the middle part, you, uh, you might actually, you, know, you might want detailed. You might actually want to know how much you have. Oh god, action is... You should shrink... Oh, there is a smaller. That is the smallest action you can get. Uh, again, I just... I like the plain... Plain simple wild star font. You know, I can't have my custom fonts. So I'll take what I can get. And then last we have just a percentage of your health. Uh, you know. We'll go back to wild star again. And outline. There we go. So... They got your HP. You know, you could probably get rid of your character name if you just really don't want it. Um, as far as other options go, we have shortened. We have, uh, which still really doesn't make a difference when you're got this little health. But then you have short, um, or super short. Then you can put your class. Now, as far as we'll talk about that in a second. I on my player bars, I like to put the class uh, mainly for if I'm PVPing. Uh, so we close HP bar. This is pretty, as you can see, this is pretty much the same. I don't have any shields to demonstrate this, but yeah. Choose one, bam, that is it. Choose your color. Uh, maybe you want your shields to be pink. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I ain't judging. Um, 
Not a really a whole lot I would say you'd want to add with your shields. Uh, you might want to keep them at pixel because it's really small. Um, and shields don't tend to take up a whole lot of room, about the size of this bar right here. So let's go ahead and we'll say that's all we want for shields. Now, because you have your resource frame here, oops, because you have your resource frame, uh, you don't really need to have your resource bar on. So I like to just go ahead and turn it off. And my shields will be above, and then I'll have another bar that would pop up if I get any absorb. Uh, again, you can customize it however you want. Um, and this is pretty much it. There's not a whole lot of in-depth options. Um, does there need to be? Hmm. No, there doesn't. I, I think for what you would use this for, it does the job completely. Now that said, um, I wouldn't mind if it, especially since it claims to be an action bar um, thing as well, I wouldn't mind if I could actually move this. Um, you know, have it put it where this is in its own little, you know, its own little box. Uh, this is in its own little box. This is in its own little, just the entire UI in its own little box and to be able to uh, move all that around. Um, I have another add-on for this right here, but it'd be really cool if they added it for this too, because I would need that. And then I could move my boxes around wherever I wanted, and that would be pretty awesome in my opinion. Um, it, it would definitely make it so that it was the only uh, UI add-on I needed, or wanted even. Um, I have a few others. You can see I have this bar up here. Uh, could it do this too? Yeah, it could. Um, are they going to? I don't know. I don't know the author. Uh, if he did, that'd be awesome. I would love to have... I would love to have a UI frame or a UI that does everything I need it to. Uh, currently, it doesn't. Um, will it in the future again? I hope. I hope they add a lot more. And maybe he'll see this video and, you know, like my input. Um, or, or maybe not. Uh, but definitely, definitely like the way that the mod looks. And again, this is pretty much it. The, there's not a whole lot for me to, to go into detail with. Um, if you're having any problems, toss them my way. I'll see if I can figure it out. Um... Uh, for the most part, it may be conflicts between different uh, different add-ons. I've seen that a lot. Um, you know, if the if the server restarts when you're um, you know doing something or when you're on, and it just kind of shuts down and comes right back up, and you log in, uh, you just need to uh, exit the game and come back in, and it'll completely fix your UI. Um, most bugs can be fixed, or not most bugs can be fixed, but a lot of problems can be fixed by just, you know, hitting the reload UI button, or typing reload UI. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, pretty much it. I don't, I feel bad because this is all I'm saying, but I feel like I wanted to spotlight this. I wanted to be like, hey guys, if you like playing with your UI, if you like customization, which seems to be wild source thing, this is a really good add-on. Um, yeah, that, that's it. Um, no, I did. I did forget one little thing. Oh, what? No, oh, go away. There's this little cutie pie right here. This is your. Um, this is your urine combat button. Just, you know, just, just place it right above Chua's head. I mean, he. Look at him. He. He enjoys it. He's happy. Again, he's he's probably not smiling, but you know we, we can pretend he is because you can't see it. He's adorable. Anyway, guys, um, that's about it. Uh, let me know if I missed anything. Maybe again, there's not a ton of options, but uh, I feel like the bits that there are could use some talking about. You do have a mount button, uh, mount health thing. You might want to stick it somewhere. Uh, the resource frame is really nice and simplistic. The entire thing just irradiates the word simplistic. Um, yeah, and so that's it. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to, uh, subscribe now. 
and uh, I will have more videos up, uh, whether it be guides or gameplay or gameplay, because that's kind of the only other thing. Yeah. So anyway, guys, hit the like button, subscribe, have a great day. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks, guys.